Uh, is there anything innovative on this car that is an all new technology, never seen on a car before? Oh, because there is one thing. Go on. There is one thing. Apparently, there is a um, microphone under each tire to measure the amount of sound coming in and adjust the um, the music accordingly. Yeah, that's right. That's right. Oh, I'm wasting fucking time. <laughs> it's like, imagine how many, how many months and years, how much money they spent on that. They think, boss, boss, we've got a great idea. We're gonna have an automatic sound adjuster. <laughs> So, news. Yeah. Bit old, but still new. Uh, the new Range Rover Sport. New, 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 new. Um, good putting out. Looks freaking amazing. I actually really like it. Ooh. Oh, do we have a do we have a disagreement here? We might have a disagreement. Oh yeah. my god, what's wrong with it? Okay, the one thing I'll say is the back is a bit touch and go. I, I, yes. That, that, yes. That, that's divisive. Definitely. Um, uh, a bit too kind of. Mm, but have you seen the interior of this car? It's the same as the last one, isn't it? Nah, this looks friggin', this looks bloody amazing. Um, so, I feel the front end has got too many grills. How many grills do you realistically need on a car? It's got one, two, three, four, five. There's this little but one it's, here. But it's supposed to no, be no, no, like... Hang on, hang on, I'll finish it. So, <laughs> one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Have you not heard the, the new thing? The more grills you have, the, the... The more successful you are. Yeah. Honestly, there's, there's more grills on that than there is in my local p and <laughs> Like, was, like... Uh, I freaking so, love it. I, 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 I'm not gonna lie. I think, I, I'm not a big fan of like big, stupid, outragey cars, but if I had to get one, I, 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 would, I would get this. this. This is probably the only big, look at my face and my status and my money and my big wife or very, very <laughs> big wife, wife. <laughs> <laughs> and my model wife yeah um that's that's what you get mm. i like the top half of the front i think if you cropped out just below the top grill <laughs> i think that's perfect i know it's fantastic this bit here the lower part of the front bumper has been over styled they started for styling's sake and i don't like that it's fake it's more fake than the person's the wife's, wife's yeah. chest. <laughs> right? <laughs> Maybe that's what they're going for. All right. So the rear end, right, let's get started on the rear. The, 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 the rear is... So what they've done is, Marmite. is take a Range Rover Velar and move the Range Rover letters from the top of the light bar to in the light bar. If you can see that, look at those two pictures now. And what everything is the exact same. Look at the, that. So imagine mm -hmm. the Range Rover bit up there mm -hmm. and then move the plate down a bit. Exactly the fucking same. But the lights. The lights are oh, exactly the same. Uh, well, ish. They're just a bit thinner. That's designer's answer to everything. Just make the lights thinner and there's a new car. That, 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 that's, that, that's what I've done with this car. They've just made it... They've just reduced things. Yeah. Um, in some meaning, well, not meaningful way. Fake, uh, fake exhaust. So I would get one, basically, is what I'm saying. Yeah, if, if I could afford one. <laughs> yeah, um, that's why I wouldn't get one. Me too, me too. <laughs> <laughs> um, I wouldn't get one if I could afford one. Um, well, you'd get a hind, hind attacks, wouldn't you? Yeah, exactly. I did. <laughs> Case in <laughs> point. Um, what they've done, and Rainer has been very clever about this, is they've created a car that's appealing. I think that's probably the most important thing, is they They've made a car that appeals to everybody um, equally. And I have no doubt they'll, they'll sell in massive volumes, but I just feel that they could have done so much more. Um, the interior is largely the same as the old one. It's Do you just, think so? Yeah, it's just got a bigger screen. It's got too many spokes on the steering wheel. Um, and that's it, really. 
But again, that's that's designers aren't stupid to make screen data. Well, that's always it, isn't it? The yeah. Seven um, series, case in point. But what I want to know is there anything, and I'll, I'll you know put my hands up if it is. But if there, is there anything innovative on this car? Uh... Yeah. Is there anything innovative on this car that is a all new technology never seen on a car before? Oh, because... there is one thing. Well, there is one thing. Apparently, there is a um, microphone under each tire to measure the amount of sound coming in and adjust the um, the music accordingly. Yeah, that's right. That's right. Oh, I'm wasting fucking time. <laughs> it's like... <laughs> Imagine how many, how many months and years, how much money they spent on that. Thinking, like, boss, boss, we've got a great idea. We're gonna have an automatic sound adjuster. Oh man! They're running out of ideas. That's what's happening. <laughs> running out of ideas. Oh, oh god. god.